Gollum. He's recognized around the world. Brings in box office billions, even oversees a New Zealand airport. And now? No, that's the same, yeah. Helped his developers win a technical Oscar for making him look so very real. It's in my desk drawer right now. <laughs> so. Rather modest developers. For me, that's been like one of the best parts of this whole thing is just yeah, yeah getting to be you know, really great friends with Simon. Yeah. Like it's yeah, just sliding around. <laughs> we were either going to be friends or kill each other. Basically, <laughs> it was one or the other. Yeah. So this is probably a more positive outcome. Yeah. That's his store action in. Yeah, Working oh, together at Cutting Edge Weta Digital, their tissue program has helped take computer-generated characters to a whole new level. Tissue is a physically-based simulation framework that allows us to build complex anatomical models, muscles, skin and fat, for virtual characters. It's that depth of detail that makes the difference. Other programs focus on the skin, but this one also builds the supporting flesh underneath, giving a much more realistic look. It's just a really cool way to make monsters, you can say that. Supremely cool. In fact, Azog, a super dramatic character in The Hobbit, was changed from the original plan of an actor in prosthetics to a larger-than-life, entirely CG character. And it's not only the Lord of the Rings franchise. Avatar, The Hobbit, Avengers, Prometheus, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. How do they do it? Usually it's, yeah, you know, they're sleeping by the, before I finish explaining what it is, so I just don't bother. Oh, monitors went to sleep. <laughs> See, I, I put the monitors to sleep just, just saying that, so. But to help us out, James starts with the basics. If I, if I just hit play, uh, you know, uh, gravity will act on it and then it'll hit the ground. So like you have uh, fat, it's really soft, but it conserves volume, so it's almost like a water balloon. Reduce its stiffness. Now when it falls, it looks more like dough. Anything created with that is based on this. What we're always trying to do is validate sort of real world to the virtual world. So if we can if we can make something on the computer that matches what we've shot for real, then we're in good shape. It's the base for many characters, like Gollum. Our poor Gollum feels real because all of his decisions about where his bones are, where his muscles are, how they work, how they move, the relationships between them are based on a real person. His suit's movements captured by cameras. Yes, every movement. <laughs> and then the body positions captured from the suit are applied to the tissue system to drive the muscles. And the program is based on loads of biomechanics technologies, including MRI. This is like the best reference possible for figuring out you know, what everything should be doing. We got casts of his hands and then um, he then fit his hand into the, the mold before it went into the MRI machine. Well, I'm pleased to tell you, Mr. Jacobs, that's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> but from MRI to x-rays to you name it, they've seriously done some studying. The latissimus here, which is the muscle you know, on your back, it's pretty neat because it sort of twists before it connects, it touches down onto the uh, acromium. Because the more accurate their software, the more realistic their characters move, something that allows faster, more accurate production. You're giving all the work to the computer rather than expecting an individual to, um, you know, by hand go in there and adjust every wrinkle frame by frame in order to look correct. It's a game changer for filmmakers, but even getting Academy Award recognition hasn't changed these guys at all. Now all of that seems like you know, another life or a dream or something, and we're just back to sitting at the computers doing our work, and, you know, I, I wouldn't have it another way.